Welcome everyone to the first episode of the Geometry Dash 2.2 Editor Tutorials. So, as you guys have, as I've promised, I'm gonna do a lot of tutorials because I'm already very, very used to this new editor. And today, the first video is gonna be about the new auto build system. This system is very, very important. And if you wanna make a level and you don't know how to use the system, it's gonna be way harder and it's gonna take you a lot of time. So, having this in mind, let's just jump right into it. So, the first thing you wanna do is go to the first tab and by the way these tutorials are gonna be absolutely in depth i'm gonna show you guys click for click what to do so that everybody that's in the comment section can follow along and nobody gets lost i want everyone to be able to understand what i'm saying so i'm just gonna take it step for step so firstly you go here you go back once and then you find this block and then you place it down and then you click on edit special and then you will get this cool menu which is a little bit broken but don't worry it's gonna be fixed in 2.21 so the very first thing you want to do is click on browse and then you click on new and then you name this is basically your template let's call it a tutorial pixel so this is a pixel art that i want to make and once you do that you just click here and then click on use okay now you have created yourself a cool template that you can use in all of your levels so you can have a bunch of like different designs for example let's use this one and when it's highlighted yellow then it's used so you use it and then the first thing you want to do is click on this one the paste template the interface may be changed in a few weeks so don't worry if it looks a little bit different for you but it should be okay so when you click it uh you have to delete the object that you just placed so now you have this guy and what i would recommend is going to the next layer go to the first layer for example and now you can start decorating now if you decorate this with your design it's basically over you can basically do whatever you want however there are a lot of things that you should keep in mind for and i'm gonna warn you guys for things that you should not do because otherwise this is gonna break and i've seen that a lot of you guys want to know how this works perfectly so i'm just gonna make my own design here and show you guys what i do so let's firstly have an outline so we want to make sure that we are on layer one as you guys can see here and let's just decorate it we place this guy and then we place this one we rotate it we rotate it like that and then boom you can copy this do this easy i'm trying to do it as fast as i can so we don't waste any time like that and then boom and then you can do the same in here however okay this is where it gets interesting this is the first step that you have to be very careful about now many people would just do something like this but this is completely wrong what you gotta do is instead use these guys because look at this you can see this line this is the green one is the correct one and the red one is the wrong one so you want to have the line inside the block, basically. So you want to remove this, get rid of all these guys, and then just simply add this one like that. Boom. And then you have these corners that you can fill with this object. You place it in here, you place it in there, you, you rotated it, and then boom, you rotate again and again. And boom, you have this. This is now perfect. And let's move on to the next one. Next one is very simple also. You place down this one, and then this guy, boom, boom, boom. And then the corners as well, like that. And another thing I like to do here is to simply make one corner, like this one, for example, like that. And then I can just copy and paste it, but make sure that nothing is duplicated. So I have this one, you guys can see. And then this one, I can copy one more time and put it in there. This one, one more time, put it in there. However, I did a small mistake here. And if you want to see if you did a mistake too, you can go ahead and select it, select any object, click here, and then lower this guy. And you will see that this object right here is a little bit too bright. That means there are two of them. Look at this. If I return the opacity, you can see that there are two. And this is wrong. You only want to have one. Okay, now with that done, we have this one. Now it's time for this one. This is the most complex one, but once you have it, it's pretty much over. So what I like to do is just copy this one and just like this corner and then place it in there because it's perfect. Now you can get rid of these guys and use these. You, ha you really have to be careful with every single placement because if you mess up a little bit, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna get really really messy. And then fixing it can be really really hard also. So yeah, for this one, you don't want to do this. You want 
to instead use this one and as well as the corners always make sure to fill in the corners and also add a corner in here and also this guy actually without this let's see i like to copy and paste it because it's way faster and boom like that okay i missed a corner but it doesn't really matter because i can just come back to it boom nice okay now you can see that uh, a bunch of corners are missing so i'm just gonna fill them in we have this one and we have a bunch of ones in here like that in here and also we have one in there okay cool now oh there is one more okay though you have to really look at every single corner and make sure that everything is perfect i think now everything is perfectly perfect so you have your layout basically if you go on let's make this a platformer level and this is your icon you can basically land on it this these are like blocks that you can land on and let's go to the next layer and actually start making a cool looking design now i'm gonna use somewhat complicated objects so that you guys know what you should take care of because i could probably use this one overall like everywhere and then it could look always the same but i want to use a more complex one so i think i'm gonna be using these blocks because they are they have a lot of variations as you guys can see there are a lot of variations in them so it's always good to use a set that has a lot of variations in it so let's just place down the first block the first block is the default one that has no neighbors basically and you can already give it a color for example let's use my colors like that like purple and red because that's pretty cool and uh, like, actually let's change the background color so it looks a little bit more satisfying for the eye and now we just want to decorate it normally so you want to focus on exactly how the block is structured so we have a the out the outline basically is always purple so if you place a block the outline should always be purple and in here we have the outline is always purple and another thing is that we have this red inline if you want to call it and the top part of it is like bright so no matter what you do the top part has to always be bright now you can't copy this and put it like that because it doesn't make any sense because the the bright side should be up above however the outlines right here are correct so you want to remove it and then instead use this one this one like that and then you close it in boom like that so we have the outline and then we have the red thing and a little bit of brighter red in the inside this is perfect so far so you keep doing that for example it can get a little bit complicated depending on what block you want to decorate so for example you can't just do this because it doesn't it doesn't really this is not really how it works it should always be the same as this one as if it was scaled look at this so for example i'm gonna i'm gonna finish this first okay i'm gonna use these two and then i'm gonna use this one and finally i'm gonna close everything up with that one and if you take if you take this one the first one and then maybe scale it up to two you can see that it kind of looks similar so we have the outline it's purple and then we have the small bright side on the top and then we have the red thing on the bottom and this is how every single block should look now a big problem that a lot of people do is they copy and paste this and remove this but this is a big problem because like we said whatever the block has interactions with the outside it should have this purple outline but this here there is no block so there should also be outline around this corner right here so what you want to do is remove these guys and do exactly the same thing that we did with the layout you want to use these guys and instead this one should also have an outline uh, so an inline basically like a purple one so you want to use this one this has like a purple one and then you want to search for one that looks like this but has a purple corner in here which does indeed exist if you just search for it so here we have it boom like that you just place it down and then it works perfectly look at this okay nice now some of you would just copy and paste this and do it like that this is completely wrong and even if you did something like this this is wrong i'm gonna tell you why because if you take a look at this you just gotta take a look at the previous ones so if you have let's just put arrows on every single one of them so if you move them down a little bit so this is basically coming from above and then we can see that now they hit the bright side of the red so let's see if this also applies oops my game just okay let's see if this also applies for these guys so we're gonna place them on the outside and then we're gonna move them in a little bit Ooh, this one doesn't really work the one on the bottom okay we need to fix it so there should be a brighter red so we want to use this one this one is perfect like that and then you use the exact same one as the 
one above. Boom. This is how it should look like so that everything works perfectly. And now this is where it gets a little tiny bit more complex because you want to use this one now and you can just keep using these ones, I think, and use the corners of these ones. Yeah. And then you want to use perhaps this one. I don't really know which one to use yet because I'm going to have to copy and paste this now. So for one above like that, and then for this one, you want to have it like this. So just make sure that the outline is always purple from everywhere you look. So this one is already wrong because there's no purple corner in here. So we're going to have to remove this and give it a rather this one because this one has like this purple dot in here, which is perfect for later. So we can now just pretty much copy and paste this because it's symmetrical on the X, but not on the Y. So yeah, this does need a little bit of thinking here and there. And we have the purple one like that, the purple one in here. And now you can't just do this. Why? If you guys know why you can't do this, you guys have already mastered this. The reason why you can't do this is because red should only be where the surface is facing upwards. So here the surface facing upwards everywhere and here as well. And here we don't have the surface facing upwards. So it has to be purple. So we're going to copy this. Boom, boom. And then boom, boom. Put one in here. And now if you want to fill the other guys, you guys have to do something like, like that. So now we have this purple corner and... Now you want to use a rather cooler one. Look at this. You want to use this one because it has like this corner in here and it also has this one because like I said, if it's facing up, it has to have red on it, like this brighter side of red. And now the last one is this one and boom, you have your set perfectly and you can do the thing with the arrows again like that to see if everything is functioning as perfect as possible. And now you move them down like that and yes, indeed. We have the red area everywhere. This is perfect. And now let's move on to the last one. This is the most complex one. But once you have it, it's yeah, pretty much Jover. You have everything you want. So you're going to be you're going to be a little bit. You're going to have to be a little bit careful about which set you use, because there are a bunch of sets where you can't do this palette or you have to add a little bit more detail to it because some blocks just don't exist in the editor. For example, this one, I want to have some Thing like this but i also want to have a purple outline like this one so what i would do is just to use these guys and this one is usually red so i would have to make it purple the main thing is that it has to look like it was perfect it doesn't matter what you use in there because the the creator this guy the system just works by using the blocks that you have placed so if it looks cool for you it's gonna look cool for anyone else so now it's gonna get a little bit tricky because now we have these corners and this is probably the last thing that we're gonna do and then it's pretty much uh, then we can move on to the creating stuff so this one we want to use the one that has two corners in it like that one because of course the outline never forget that i'm probably gonna also upload this level at the end so you guys can also take a look at it and maybe try testing stuff on your own uh let's see so we have here the corner so instead of this was the wrong object actually you want to remove this and instead use this one because it has this corner in here and perfect like i said it's symmetrical on x so we can just yoink it like that but we can't yoink it like this one and if you guys know why it's already very cool so in here we have the same problem where we want to use the, we want to make sure that the corners are always there so you want to be using this one i think yeah you can just a little bit of trial and error i'm really coming here with no preparation and look at this we use this one as the center block and it looks perfect so now this has also interactions with the like up above so you want to use these guys with the red guy with the red bright surface on it and then yeah, let's use this one ah wait this is wrong because it should be it shouldn't have anything under it like that yeah and then for these guys like that very simple and then this one and then that one and then we want to use we want to probably have to switch up this one with this one because it has this corner piece very important never never ever miss that and then we can do this and for this one what do we want to use we want to use one that has three so maybe like that no it should have two on the top and none of the bottom sometimes it's a little bit hard to find it and if you don't you have just have to make your own so for example 
example, I can use this one and I can make it a corner myself because like I said, some objects just don't exist in the editor. Because Robtop probably never thought that this game was going to get that far anyway. And now we can, like I said, the X is always the same. So we can yoink it like that. It depends on which block you use really. But for this one, it's basically just like I am explaining. And for that one, I want to have like a surface on the bottom like that. Boom, this looks epic. Nice. Okay, now I'm probably going to switch up the colors. Let me, let me just make this one purple and the one outside is a red one. Uh, actually, because I explained it like that, I'm just going to keep it like that. So in case you guys want to copy it, you guys know the outline always purple, the red bright surface and boom. Okay, now you have this thing and you can add, you can always add more stuff to it. So for example, I want to add a simple, nice little shadow under it. So I'm going to go to this tab and switch until I get this one. I'm going to rotate it and make it four four is going to be black put it in there make sure that it's always where the block has interactions with the bottom where it's like facing down you want to have these guys so you want to make sure that you don't miss any single uh, corner otherwise it's going to break like i said it ha literally has to be perfect and this looks about good look at this we have like this cool looking shadow and this is a little bit of a problem layering problem uh, we have made this but we're just gonna make it on top so the layering has to be probably nine actually let's just make it t2 t2 now they are above everything and i also want to make them white yeah like that this one looks pretty cool so now you have done your palette you have decorated everything you can still add more details into it but if you want to make it then make sure that it's fitting on every single one of them make sure that it makes sense you know do the thing with the arrows and stuff like that and now what you want to do is go on every single layer together and then select all of the palettes click on edit special and click on template when you click on template you can then go to the one object that one auto build this one and in case you did everything correctly you can go to edit special browse and then go to use and then go to edit and then browse and here you should see these complex looking blocks that you have just set up and if you know what these are then you probably have a very good chance of making a, a perfect palette like this one so yeah now we are done now we are pretty much done let's see if you want to have like a block like this one and let's say we want to have something like this and then you can just select it boom and then you want to do create boom you have your perfect set this is awesome you can go as crazy as you want and if you haven't make made any mistakes it should look like this it should look absolutely perfect absolutely zero mistakes if you have made any mistakes i'm gonna show you in a bit what you can do so let's just now mess up a little bit with this because it's, it's really satisfying i'm not gonna lie so you let's do a little subscribe slap that sub button everyone and we're gonna select it and do create look at this this looks so cool and you can go absolutely nuts with this one you can you can you know do crazy stuff with it as you guys want and i'm just gonna make this one see how it looks boom create you can do whatever shape you want and click on create okay now let me show you if you made a small mistake what now you could do uh, so the first thing you want to do is probably going to be going to edit special so just place this one and then edit special go to browse and then go to edit you're probably going to have to delete it and you're going to create a new one and once you create the new new one let, let me just do it okay so you delete it if you delete it don't worry because you still have the blocks in here if you lose these blocks it's a little bit of a problem so let's say i made a little bit of a mistake and then and create new let's call it new so i want to use it and then i want to remove this and then you can basically do the same things that we did at the last step at the very last step so you take this one you select every single thing that you have placed down even like these guys and then you click on edit special this guy use and then you go on template and if you did everything correctly like i said you should see these guys which indeed they appear and before you do that of course you like correct your mistake whatever it was for example if you like missed a corner or something like that and now it's time my dudes to mess a little bit with this guy and see how crazy please don't crash my game though i really don't want my game to crash okay create oh my god this this was instant look at this okay this is actually insane this system is very very helpful now if you have a level 
you can pretty much just you know build the layout on it and then just fill in these guys you can make it like go on the walls and then going backwards and then a little bit of platforming here and then going up let's say this is like a full full 2.2 level uh we have this guy boom and you make sure that you have filled in everything that you want make sure that it's here perfect as well and you select create boom you have this beautiful thing and also you can change the colors whenever you want and everything is gonna change as you guys can see you can also go to select like a like one that has outline and then you can click on two and change that color so you have this guy and also another thing the last thing that i want to talk about is gonna be these guys so you have the reference only the allow rotation the allow flip x y ignore corners use nearby as reference and don't delete let's start off with the don't delete so if you have a little bit of this and you choose don't delete then these guys will still exist however if you do delete then you have them removed basically so you would normally want to have it off and use nearby as reference i'm not that quite sure about what this one does i think it's rather unfinished because rocktop still has to do some stuff with this and also you can't really do a template for the slopes for now and then we have the ignore corners this is something that also does nothing right now because if you go on here you can see that the tool is still in beta and it's still very unstable but we have the allow x and y and this is basically what i have talked about already this is basically if you have this one this set is basically the same on the if you flip it like that it looks the same you guys get it so if you do this you can just do uh allow flip x so now everything for this set is gonna look the same but the benefit of this is that you wouldn't have to decorate this part you can just leave it like that basically you only decorate this one and in here only decorate perhaps this one so basically it knows that it should basically just flip it you know if you if you enable this one and the same with y and this set doesn't work with y because it just doesn't and yeah the last thing that i want to talk about now there is one more thing it's it's about the randomness of this because there's actually a lot of stuff that you can do with it so let's for example create a okay i want to create a new template let me just go to browse new templates call it spike test for the tutorial and you want to use it edit and then go to browse okay this is a little bit more interesting you want to go to the first one this one that has it like that and then it, it says uh, add it to the editor and then one two three four five six and then the last one is this one so one and then a few of these guys and then this one it doesn't matter how many you do so it basically just paste them in here and now you can do your shenanigans look at this i'm going to show you guys some that you have never seen before this is very very important for the for making ground spikes and stuff like that it's very very easy then so the, the thing, what you want to do here is basically just decorate these guys so let's say we have okay so the first thing i want to do is just put them in there and for the last one of course it's gonna be the same but flipped like this and the first thing i want to add is a little bit of a glow let's add this cool little red glow and then we can do this and then for this one of course it's gonna be all the same i'm just basically making a ground spike decorations and i want to have them random so the first thing is the glow is always going to be there let's move it up a little bit so it looks even better and so now let's see if i want to use random stuff so for example you can use these guys and uh, let's give them with a color purple like this so let's say if you want to create your ground spike you want to have random decorations every time so let's see if i want to use this one and then i want to use that one sometimes you know it's, it's going to randomize all of these so you can basically do your own decorations and then it's going to take a random one from your own decorations which is absolutely fascinating so if you want a little bit more you can pretty much just copy and paste copy and paste and copy and paste and now let's probably also add some of this guy i like to have this a little bit smaller like this and maybe a little bit this guy i also like to add these guys actually these guys that are behind like that i like to do that a lot so and the last one is probably going to be something like this one like that okay nice now we want to have one that doesn't have a decoration at all so let's say for example like that only the glow okay so now you want to move it all upwards and select everything go here browse use the spikes and then do template template is basically assigning the stuff that you have made 
to that template and now my my dudes if you do this let's say this is like a okay so firstly let's just make blocks okay i'm just gonna use the blocks the blocks that we have made create okay i'm just gonna copy and paste this and now let's say you want to add spikes in between so you select the ones that you just placed you go to edit special you go to browse and then you go to the spikes and then you do create and would you look at that it's all the same thing okay that's because we need to set it up in here if you go on to the spikes you go to edit and then you go to browse and then you will see a little 10 in here or depending on how many you did so the first thing you want to do is select all of them select all of them every single one of them and then click on add now you see that every single one of them has a 10 percent chance of appearing so i usually would like to have the default one a little bit more chance so that these guys are rare and i feel like this one should also be rare this one and other than that it's perfect so you can see how much percentage every single one of them has and and now, after you have done this, you can do what I just did here. You just place this guy and then browse it is special, then create. Boom, look at that. We have a randomized set. So no matter how, how many times you do it, look at this. I can just, I can literally just do, I can literally do them all at once. Boom. It's every single time. It's this, it's, a, it's, it's not the same thing, you know? So that's pretty epic. And yeah, you can go crazy with this. And in case you really know what the heck is going on here, you'll notice that these blocks the where the bright white ones are the ones where the objects are and the near ones are the ones that are a uh, nearby basically and uh, we have the red ones it's basically a missing texture and here we can see how many missing you have how many variants you have and stuff like that but yeah you can always create more and add it to the template using this button and yeah i think this is all we have for the template i'm just gonna have to upload this now to show you guys the id also so i'm just gonna put an end trigger in here like that boom nice all right now i'm just gonna do a allow copy i'm not gonna put a start a required password unlisted do i want it unlisted no i'm gonna make it auto and i'm gonna upload it now boom okay cool now we have the auto build tutorial and here is the id i'm gonna put it in the description too so you can copy and paste that too or you can just go to my account like my profile post and also check out every single social media and follow me everywhere and then you can check out the level but yeah this has been the tutorial the first tutorial ever on 2.2 stuff and i'm gonna do a lot more tutorials like i have you can pretty much say i have mastered this editor look at this so if i show you stuff like this okay no nah, i don't want to leak stuff but i can show you that i have made all of this in 2.2 already and here's the palette that i have just used this is my this is the one that i made and yeah i have mastered it i know how to use pretty much 80 to 90 percent of all the new triggers so i'm gonna do a tutorials on on those as well and i will see you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned something new and you can use it for good and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye